Christina, thank you very much uh, indeed. And it's great to see so many of you uh, here in Parliament. Uh, and this is the second time in about uh, a month when I've seen so many of you here in Parliament. Uh, and I recognise quite a few faces from uh, our UK Youth Parliament debate, uh, which if anyone was there, uh, they, then they will know how powerful and how inspiring that event was. And all of those who weren't there, they need to make sure they're there next year uh, when we have the next uh, UK Youth Parliament debate. Uh, but what I wanted to do is, before, before David says a few words as well, is just give you uh, a sense of the first few months I've had in my role as the Children's Minister. And in doing that, just uh, remind myself of the work that was done before I, I took on this role. And in particular, the work of Tim Lawton, who, uh, who's waiting in the corner right now. <laughs> um, many of you will know Tim and know how committed and dedicated he was and remains in making sure that young people are heard, listened to, and their wishes and feelings are acted upon by those of us in positions of responsibility. And the very fact that Tim is here today, I think, is testament to the fact that he continues that work. Uh, and I just want to thank him uh, for everything he's done, and I, uh, I have every faith that he will continue to do all he can to help young people uh, in this country. But the, the, the thing that struck me most of all in the uh, visits that I've done around, uh, around the UK, uh, and as, as recently in, as Tuesday this week in Nottingham when I visited one of our uh, My Place centres, is that there are young people who, often below the radar, are doing some amazing work to help not just other young people, but their community more widely. I met a, a care leaver in Nottingham who uh, had, had a very, very difficult upbringing and had had to use many of the services and youth services on which, on which we try uh, and provide. And she has now, because she's realised the importance of the work that was done to help her, taken on that mentoring role and is now helping other young people who have had a difficult start in life. And it was just a reminder to us that actually sometimes the best advocates for making sure young people are, are given uh, the tools that they need to succeed in life are from young people themselves uh, and adults who have experience of those services too. And so I want to make sure that everything that government does, and this is across the whole of government, one of my missions uh, is, and I'm sure was uh, one of Tim's missions too, was to make sure that the voice of youth is embedded across the whole of government uh, in every uh, policy that we consider and every action that we take. And to make sure that that happens, that's why it's important that we have and continue to fund the National Scrutiny Group, so we have young people in the heart of government making sure that they um, have an opportunity to make their voices heard. And that's why we have the UK Youth Parliament, why we've continued uh, our funding for British Youth Council to keep that going, uh, with young ambassadors as well, uh, and uh, the Youth Select Committee, because they are all important forums at a national level that illustrate uh, the importance of young people being at the heart of decision making. But of course, all of this only happens if it's also happening elsewhere, and particularly uh, right on the ground, the grassroots at local level. And that's really a lot of what we're celebrating today, is the achievement of, of all the people who uh, we've just seen come up to collect their certificates, but across uh, a much uh, wider landscape where there are young people doing great things, achieving great things, uh, and making sure that other young people benefit as a consequence. So uh, I just want to thank uh, all those, James Cathcart and the British Youth Council, for the excellent work that they continue to do on behalf of young people. It's such an important part uh, of uh, the work that we do. And that's why, in my role as Children's Minister, I want to continue to work with you to make sure you get the benefit of all of the work that you do and that we, as politicians and decision makers, listen to you and learn from you. And, Rosina, that was very much your, your pitch today, and I think you've got it pitch perfect.